much deal with triplets and another scrapbook layout here. Um, last night I was doing the Little Mermaid and said I was working on, I, mean, I was working on neat, Little Mermaid. What did I do last night? Oh, I was supposed to be doing Little or um, Nemo and I was, did Little Mermaid. Oh, I can't even remember what I'm doing now to tell you. Anyway, this is going to be a packet that I have and I'm, I'm going to be, it will include numerous patterns, 12 by 12 sheets that I printed out that were a, uh, a digital clip art that I got in Etsy. And I think it was called um, uh, uh, Compliment, I don't know what it was, Nemo Digital. Um, it was mainly the papers to use for for scrapbooking. I like these smaller prints, like this is kind of a uh, grid pattern. And well, some of them are already cut off. I don't know if I just showed you the one with all the little bitches on it. And this one's cut out, but it, <laughs> when it was one piece, it was upside down. It's, it's just waves, like water waves. I've already cut it because I've already started working on a piece. And this entire piece was just the eyes and the yellow or the orange stripe through it. And the stripes, what I liked is they were all uneven. I cut them because I was going to use them in, our, in my layouts, which I'm going to show you. And I will put together, if I remember what I'm doing. I have to try. I didn't glitter any of those up yet. I did matte. I took one of the prints that was just an orange pattern and use it as my mat on my photos. I don't like to cut the mats ahead of time because I cut my photos almost all the time. These I barely trimmed because I didn't want to lose the background because it had Nemo and Dory and I, I didn't want to lose, lose the actual background of the photo. And I cut these little triangles up then I cut, th this would come with two of the print of Under the Sea. Again, it's one of those that I'm using as a background because some people absolutely love them. Mm, me, not so much, but it, that's totally fine for what I'm doing. Totally fine. First thing I'm going to do, this was a 6 by uh, 12 inch strip that I cut this in half and then I cut these in half the six by six pieces, then I cut them in half. Actually, it wasn't six by six. I think it was, yeah, it was six by six. Can't even remember. Can't even, losing it, losing it. Anyway, that's what I did here. And what I'm doing right now is just showing you how much a page changes its appearance. In, and in scrapbooking, it, it, you, the simplest of things that you do, it can make your page just stand out. And I really like these real bright colors and and fun stuff like this. Doing the grandkids books because it's so fitting to them. So I just took those two triangle pieces and taped them on this corner. Again, uh, I'm not real sure what my my vision was, other than probably blind. I don't know, but I don't care about any of that underneath here. If a little bit shows, that's fine because it kind of fills in the background. But I don't care if I cover it either. I'm thinking I don't want any of these going in here, and I might as well just use that whole background piece, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to put my pictures in. I'm going to put my pictures on and have my pop dots today. So, oh my gosh, my little my little babies are growing so much. Um, FaceTime them today, and uh, Burke is, is, oh my gosh, he's nine months he's going to be 10 months next week and we got a notification yesterday that at eight o'clock as of eight o'clock this morning we are in um stay-at-home mode which i've already been in 
for the last going on, for nearly two weeks. And, but it feels different when they don't give you a, ch a choice. Uh, essentials, you can go out. Um, I essentially don't have to go out. My kids have been doing all our grocery shopping. Uh, my two sons work in the food industry. If we need something, they, they're, they're still having to um, take sure, make sure all of the stores are stocked with food. So my one son uh, is there every day, so he just lets us know. Not every day. I think he's only at one particular. He, he's at some store every day. So he just gets in touch with us and asks us if there's anything that we need. And then my daughter goes once a week. But what she does is she goes um, and drives by. And it's actually a local Piggly Wiggly. And if she doesn't see any cars in the parking lot, she goes in with her suit of armor on. And she makes sure that she is completely covered. <laughs> and yesterday when she went to pick up stuff. She was covered and she had her rubber gloves on and put her sanitizer on over after her gloves. And not after, after her gloves taking them off, after she put them on, she sanitized her hands with the gloves on. Um, I didn't show which turtle that this is the big, I don't know if this had a name in the movie. I don't remember, but Dory and Nemo are Little tiny, tiny, tiny things up there uh, on with that turtle. This particular cut, the ends of the fins were were cut off. So I slid the one underneath this picture and took this one off the page. And that way it's not noticeable that they're dirty hands like this. How'd you like that? That was my imitation of a turtle with no fin tips. Okay. And then I've got Dory, and I can't remember this little guy's name, but I really like him. He's so stinking cute. The little baby turtle. And I'm going to put him kind of over here. I think I'm going to put Dory and Nemo together, paling up with Pop Doss over here. Now, when I'm done here, I'm going to tell you that, to me, what I really like when I do paint, these do not have to be so elaborate. Um, I have seen, I do absolutely love some of the scrap of pages that I see. I think, oh, I, I, I have them pinned in Pinterest. If anybody follows me on Pinterest, they'll see my taste in scrapbooking. But uh, a lot of the stuff is, is I've got, I'm uh, going to soon, soon have 14 grandkids. I don't have the time to be that elaborate. So to me, keeping it simple, it, it works because I can do them quick and hopefully uh, one day catch up and if they stop having babies, they're like little rabbits, um, then maybe I'll have time to catch up because I know as I get older, I'm not going to be chasing around with a camera trying to catch everything that they do. Um, actually, what I might film so I can recap the hundreds of pages that I've made is I'm thinking of just going ahead and starting each one of my kids. I've got the books to do it. Just start loading some of their books and they can figure out if they're in the wrong order. I'm going to judge it by either the clothes that they're wearing or how big they are or what their haircut is. Um, my daughter sent them all to me in order with the date and everything on them or it kind of marked but when I go to do a layout it never seems to work that I can keep them in order. So she gets so mad. She says, why do we even bother doing that? And I said, well, your alternative is do this yourself. So deal with it. But then as you have four kids, the lucky if you even get any pictures of the fourth one, but um, um, they are lucky to get them at all. And if I don't keep it simple, they won't get them at all. And to some of you that are scrapbookers, this might, might look like a, work, a lot of work. The work is, is printing and cutting. And I do just I do outline kind of what I'm going to do when I pick up my papers. Um, I like to offer different prints of paper because um, I never know. I mean, you never know what somebody 
that you try. This is actually enough that you could do more layouts. You could probably do four 12 by, or 12 by 12 pages with it. And again, I, I mentioned in the last video, I don't remember if that's what it was, and I don't think it was, um, that I put all the scraps together since I, I'm going to have to do some of these things again and again and again. So, probably should put the orange ones on first. That's part of my problem. I don't know where it started, but these orange little stripes, and I did cut them with the curve. They're not straight. Hand, I cut them out by hand, and because I wanted the curve in it, put one up there, little eyeballs of Nebo. He's got his eye on you. So, let's see here. Will finished up his little um, cookout. Uh, he did a little little craft of a cookout with a log, a tent, and a uh, trees and the and the, the brush in the woods and uh, bonfire and he did I mean he did everything on it it was absolutely adorable and his teacher had called my daughter today or notified everybody didn't call sent everybody an email that on Friday they're going to be having a where all the kids are going to I don't I can't remember what it's called but it's kind of to me like group chat FaceTime or FaceTime group or whatever um, and she asked that each of the kids take and make something, a project using, um, basically using just, just any kind of odds and ends, uh, boxes, anything you could find that would, somebody might typically throw away. So Will, and I put that up a little too high, but I wanted that overlapping guys I wasn't paying attention so I don't know if I can get this up without tearing my color off I will try if it starts to tear my color I will stop but he had done this and, th and then when the teacher sent out this message and asked all the kids to have done something um, like this his was already done and my daughter's going oh what perfect timing because he just did it today it was real it's really cute though so he'll have that to show off at class. You know what? It doesn't matter where this goes because I'm going to put the picture. So I'm going to go right back to where I was here. I didn't overlap this like I had wanted to. But the pictures are going to go over here. So it doesn't matter. See, they're going to go right on top of it. I do want a little of that showing, but I don't want it all showing. My cute little buggers. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much they've grown since this. I don't know, this was probably three or four trips ago. That's making it a little bit of a challenge for me, figuring out what year it is, is because the pictures all might be in the same, in front of the same stuff, and that's when I really have to look at it. What was this piece from? That was the piece that was supposed to go there, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> that was great. That's where it was going to go all the way over here. I reached over there and it felt it sticky. Okay, guys, if I can do scrapbooking, no doubt any one of you can. Any one of you. Because I, as you notice, am not quite up to par. I am not your, uh, what you would say is, um, I don't know what you would say. I'm not scrapbooker of the year, that's for sure. But I get it done, and I don't know if I'm digressing or I don't know which direction I'm headed. Anyway, I was talking about they, they're doing the stay indoors is what they call it. You know, it, you know, but you get fined up to two hundred fifty dollars and thirty days in prison, in jail. I shouldn't call it prison in jail. Um, if you are out without a reason that is qualified as essential, um, which means going to the grocery store, um, taking your kids to, if they have a uh, caretaker when you're people who are working from home, have a hard time working from home if they're taking care of their children. So 
like I have my four grandkids because my daughter and son-in-law cannot work at home with the kids there. So I have them. And uh, it listed the things that you could go and do, but it would be no play dates and, and going on long walks with the neighborhood and gatherings and things like that, which we've been doing now for nearly a couple weeks. So I thought that's not gonna hit me hard. But when he came out, my husband came, you know, he, he was watching news and came upstairs to tell me. And I was okay with him when it was my choice. But when it's not my choice, I'm like a little kid. I might not want something really bad, but I do want it if I can't have it. And since they told me I can't do it, I never go anywhere anyway, except to the store periodically. If I can get out of it, I do. I always have a list of I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby or I'm going to go to Michael's and then I don't go anywhere. I end up going online. I'm an online shepherd. Um, but I was planning on going to see my daughter this morning, my other daughter, who's having a really tough time because I've got my younger, my older daughter that sees us every single day and my younger daughter, which is the one that I used to be with every single day because she and I would get together with the kids and she's a realtor and a, and basically work from home 100%. Um, unless, of course, she has a showing. She doesn't have that for home. But her and I are the ones that got together every single day with the kids. And then all of a sudden, we don't see each other. She's really having a hard time. So I said, told my older daughter, go ahead and keep the kids in the morning and let us go over there in our suits of armor visit and see the kids. But um, we didn't do it. Um, Amy's not real comfortable with it yet because she's just afraid of more. It, it's not of the kids. It's of them because her husband is with the public or he's out there. He, he can't work from home and he's an essential and and her grand, her stepkids too. So didn't get to see her. So we're planning on going on Monday. So I pray that works out that we can. Guys, I'm done. The only thing I'm going to do and I'm not going to do that on cameras. I'm going to go back and glitter. Then I will take some pictures. And then I will be done until tomorrow. And Kelly, you asked me if I did an upload last night. No, I didn't upload today. However, when I went in to watch it, to check to make sure it was okay, at the end of the video, it stops and goes on for I don't know how many minutes, like five minutes or something, where it's just a image that caricature I had done and it just stopped there. I don't know what happened. So I redid the, didn't redo the movie. I redid, but I swapped out the end and redid it so it didn't pause like that. So I will upload that again shortly. So that one will be visible tonight, but this one won't be visible till tomorrow. Then when you see this one tomorrow or the next day, then you're going to hear me telling this story and you're going to say, that was yesterday's news. So with that note, I'm on my way. Have a good day and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.